Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and today I am going to tell you another formula of Excel called Roundup. Well, uh, Roundup is a derivative of the round formula. Let us see what does round do, then we will be able to understand Roundup better. So, to apply the round formula, I will type in is equal to R O U N D round and bracket open. Which number do I want to round up? I want to round I want to round up this number by how many digits do I want to round it up? I want zero decimal points over here. So I'll type in zero decimal zero over here and seven point one becomes seven. And the same formula is applied over here. Round bracket open. Which number needs to be rounded up? This number, comma. How many decimal points do we want? We want zero decimal points. So the answer comes eight. Right now. I can drag this to copy the formula. Now 7.6 become became 8, 8.4 be remained 8, 8.9 became 9. Now if I use roundup, let us see what happens. Well, roundup actually rounds a number up away from 0. Let us see over here. Roundup bracket open. Which number do I want to round up? This number comma how many digit uh, decimal places do i want i want zero decimal places so i'll type in zero and see using the round function we got the answer seven for 7.1 and for the same 7.1 using the formula round up we got eight so we can copy it also over here do you see the difference here the uh, answer with round was eight and the answer with round up is nine so this is a very good feature. It usually comes handy in tax calculations or slab calculations or incentive calculations. Uh, here's a very special feature I would like to tell you, you of the round function. Uh, it's very, very important that we know it. Uh, it. It is very helpful. So I type in round and I type in the number which I need to round up, comma. And how many decimal places do I want? I want two decimal places. So I type in two over here. I select this cell enter I copy the formula see two decimal places gave me the answer 0 0.57 zero decimal places in the formula you pay if you pay attention over here the formula is uh, is equal to round this number how many decimal places zero decimal places so I get 1534 instead of 1.34 now when I get 1.31535 in place of 1.34 if I round it up to zero. Now, what if I mention minus three over here? It has turned to 3000. When we use minus three or minus in round function, what it does is it skips the decimal points and it moves to integers. So I, since I mentioned minus three, what, what did it do? It rounded up, it, it moved, it simply omitted four and three this is tens, this is units, this is tens, and it went to five. This is the hundreds place, and three denotes hundreds. So it rounded it up and rounded up to the next level. So one became two. So it is 2000 now. This is very, very important thing to know when using the round function. And unfortunately, very few people know about it. Uh, now you know it. All right, this Excel file shown in this video is available for free download on my website myelesson.org uh, you can go over there and watch many other videos also all for free so until the next video this is your excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning